Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy DJ Ruko, and today I got a, a little uh, how-to video. Uh, I've noticed uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube of um, guys trying to record their mixes on Serato Scratch Live, and I really haven't found anything that you can do without using Audacity. That's what I've noticed. A lot of these guys uh, putting up the videos that they use Audacity. Well, I have a way of doing it. Um, I don't know you guys might know this way, but I haven't seen a video on YouTube that shows you how to do it this way. But um, you can actually record using just your SL1 box and the little Y connector with the quarter inch to RCA. Um, you can actually record, uh, I guess you can say internally through Serato. And it, it's pretty easy. It's really, really, really simple to do. So um, stay tuned and I will show you guys how to do that. All right. So the cable that you will need um, should look like this you got your quarter inch to RCA so these are gonna connect either to your booth uh, your booth out or you can do it to your master out if you, if you haven't connected that to anything else uh, I prefer using the booth out because you have the you know you have the volume control and then this bad boy right here you're gonna connect it to your Serato box um, where to the mic not to the mic through Cause it has uh, one that says mic through in the mic. You're just gonna connect it to the mic part, right here. All right, guys. So after you guys have everything hooked up like it's supposed to go, uh, go to this part right here um, and make sure it's on mic. Cause it's gonna, you're gonna get a one or one and a two, and then uh, just choose the mic setting. Cause you are using the mic on the Serato box, and then you go to setup, and then use. Uh, I have it on mono. I've tried stereo, but for some reason I don't know if it's my cable or I don't know. Uh, gives me like a little hissy noise. So when I use mono, I noticed I get a better sound quality So uh, if you use mono you guys can play around with it. I mean it could be my cable So after you are ready to go um, I'm gonna hit record and then we're gonna record a little little piece so you guys can see that it works So the record is on So I'm gonna just name it. Um, uh, I just name it whatever. I'm just gonna call it uh, Serato Ray Recording, and then you're gonna save that. All right. So it, the file is right here. I'm gonna load it, and I'm gonna hit play, and you should hear something. All right, see, as you can see, it, it recorded. So um, just play around with the volume. If you have, um, if you're using the booth, uh, you can just uh, play with the volume on on your on your booth out uh, on your booth out. Um, you can try using your master. You can use whatever you wanna, whatever you prefer to use. I use the booth out because you have control of the volume on the uh, for for the uh, for your mix that you're recording. So if you wanna use an alternative way to do a mix without using Audacity. This is uh, one way to do it. All right. Well, this is DJ Ruko. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to do this with all the uh, Serato boxes. Um, so far, what I, from what I know, uh, you can only do this with the SI1. You might be able to do it with the newer versions if you guys have that uh, mic input. Um, try it out. I mean, it might work, you know. But I think you can record internally with the Serato DJ using the newer versions of the Serato box. I mean, but try it out, but, you know, hopefully this video helps you out. You know, that way you can record your mixes without, without using uh, Audacity. And you're kind of recording internally. So, um, you know, hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, thanks for watching. This is your boy, DJ Ruko, signing off.